Hey guys, Brian here from 2B Clean Auto Detailing, uh, Northeast Ohio. Today's video is going to be about a tire shine that lasts. <clears throat> There's many types of tire shines in the auto detailing world. Uh, Water-based, silicone, and now uh, even acrylic. And what's special about the acrylic is you can have a tire that looks like it's got tire shine on it for months depending on how you take care of the vehicle, how many miles you drive, hitting curbs, etc., stuff like that. So what I wanted to show you is the acrylic tire shine that I got sent to me. Uh, his name is Lloyd Snow. And right now you can currently buy it on eBay at the moment until he gets his website all straightened up. It's called Acrylics Tire Shine. So I already went, these are brand new tires. So first I want to note that uh, it's going to take a, a little bit longer than normal because these are very, very fresh tires. I just got them yesterday. So it's resisting tire shine in general. Kind of needs to oxidize itself, become a little more porous. Uh, it works though, because I did one tire yesterday. I drove it about 100 miles and I have a lot of construction by me, so it did get dirty. So I wanted to show you guys that as well. So I guess what we'll do first is how about I take you guys into the tire that I have the tire shine on. And here it is. I drove a uh, hundred miles, like I said, and I got a lot of construction. So right now it is dirty. It's dry to the touch. I want to show you guys how to clean it safely. So how about I set this down here and in my bucket is just O&R diluted to the car wash strength so half an ounce per gallon I'm filling it up right now as we speak but I got enough water in there so just with O&R I'm going to take a little tire brush and wash it as you can see the, the dressings beating off right now So it's pretty cool. I wanted to be able to show you guys, one, a finished product, and two, the easiest way to clean them. So now that's dry, uh, now that's clean right now. But what I'm gonna do to kind of speed up the process here, if I can reach it here, so I'm gonna turn this little air mattress thing on. Not gonna do that, just gonna dry it. But anyway, what I thought this was cool about is, for me, I, I like this kind of shine, so this works for me. This might be too shiny for some others, and that's cool, then that means this is not the product for you, but as you can see, it was dirty, like I said, with construction, and just washed it with O&R. So, matter of fact, what I would suggest is you clean the wheels first, with some of your chemicals and then if you want to do O&R or shampoo just to wash the car do that but then you can hit the tires last as you see they come out real clean so now onto the application I already tried to degrease these uh, 4 to 1 Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner and then I used uh, all-purpose cleaner or I'm sorry uh, an IPA afterwards as per recommended so I'm going to show you a quick way to apply this. So depending on how your tires are, if you have a, some aggressive uh, tread, you can use like a brush, uh, tire, tire shine applicator. I'm going to use a suede block because this will help not attract. Um, it won't absorb all the acrylic. So I'm going to just show you how quick it is to dress a tire. You're going to notice that the blue tent How about I do the whole tire here? This will dry clear. So like I said, you could get the brush in here if you wanted to work that in here. That'd be a great idea. Uh, I did the other tire yesterday with just the applicator, but it was my first time. It was kind of different to me. So now that it's on the treads, how about I spray some on here so it doesn't absorb it? 
And this dries in like uh, five, 10 minutes. So what I recommend doing it is in the shade. And then also I'm gonna use that leaf blower or the, uh, the air mattress blow up thing. Okay, now that I got even distribution across it, I'm gonna just wipe that up real quick. Boom. And then from a certain distance, I'm gonna spray, I'm gonna use this thing to help spread the product and help dry it a little bit. Just from a distance, as you can see, it's moving it around. So depending on how good you are at, at doing this, as how many times you do it, you can get better at it. So a neat other method you could do is I'm gonna get this microfiber wet and wring it all out so it's very lightly damp. And I'm just gonna pat it. This will absorb the excess material. And don't worry if you get it on top of the tire, you're gonna drive away, it's gonna peel off from friction. So I did the top half, you see the bottom half's not done. I'm gonna go ahead and do it while the top is drying and show you in real time how quick it dries. I think this stuff is around 20 bucks, something like that. Maybe 25. Uh, I'm not sure about the durability. I have not done it. I have not used it yet. Um, but I just like that if I wash my car every week like I try to do, this is, I know it sounds silly, but it's one little step that I don't have to do anymore. I don't have to re, you know, degrease the tires up and you know, apply the tire shine. This creates a, an actual layer in between the environments and the tire. So you don't have to, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Now what you can do, so it's, I have a little bit on my applicator, just putting a, just a little bit more on top. You can stack this for more uh, durability and for a little bit more shine, I'm not too sure how much more shine you can get, but as you see, uh, here's my back tire. It's had plenty of time to dry. Looks nice and shiny. I don't have to dress that right now. I'll give that another minute to sit up. Let's, uh, Remove some excess product and then apply just a little bit more. Not too sure how long it's been because I did just hit this area again. So we're going to let that sit up here for a minute again. So yeah, so right now you can order this on eBay, like I said. I had spoke with him on the side. He said he's working on getting a website. He sells a lot of other stuff. He's in the tunnel wash business. So a lot of his products are very dilutable. Uh, he's got tire dressings that uh, go on machines so that when a vehicle pulls up, it can get brushed down automatically. Uh, different kind of foaming agents, different kind of drying aids, you know, a quick wax if you can say, when your car gets rinsed and then blow dried off. To create that one week's worth of shine and gloss protection until the next time people want to take it through the tunnel wash. All right, so here's my hand, nice and dry. Let's see if it's ready yet. I see a little build up here, but I rub it on a tire. It's pretty dry to the touch. So there you have it. A little, little review on uh, acrylics tire shine. Uh, 
produced by Anford Incorporate. They're out in PA. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if this is something that you guys would be able to use in your world. Uh, I'm going to be doing maybe weekly updates, even if they're like a quick minute video or two, um, just to show you guys the durability. I drive 400 miles a week, so, and I have a lot of construction, like too, way too much construction. So it's going to be good to see how it holds up. You know, you don't want to be selling a product to a, a client that lasts two weeks after you claim it lasts months. But if you get to know their driving routine, if they only drive 10 miles a day, I drive almost 100 a day. So if, if I can get a month out of this, sure enough, they can get two months, three months. So let me know, comments down below. Thanks guys, much love.